ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So we're here today with Aoi Bungaku series episode 6, the second part of the In the Woods Beneath the Cherry Blossom in Full Bloom. And boy, 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 boy. To sum up the last episode, I would basically have to say, it all went good. It all went good. It was all nice and all fun and everything of that kind of sort. Until the girl just appeared. The city girl just appeared and was like, yeah, kill them all. And he obliged. And I don't, I still have no idea, honestly, why. To me, it's just insanity what occurred. Um, I, I, I am baffled, honestly. That's the word. I was baffled why it happened last episode. I'm baffled, you know, I, I, I just shocked. Absolutely shocked of what happened in the last episode. I'm also shocked why. Like, that's the thing, like, 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 I get that it happened, but I still don't understand why. And obviously he had this, he had this fear of, like, the cherry blossom, I need, I need my comb, honestly. He had this fear of, like, the cherry blossom, I, I, I'll definitely pause in a second, um, of the cherry blossoms, and I don't know why. Like, like all the questions, all the answers, all the questions, I just don't know why. <laughs> Like, what is there to fear? Like, what is there to truly, truly fear? I don't get it. Maybe I never will get it. Maybe it's not for me to understand. Or maybe I'm going to get the answers in this episode, which, I'm, which is very, very likely. Finally, some backstory with my... Give me some... Which might give me some context of why. Ah. See, now it makes more sense. Now it makes more sense. Some context is always key. Alright. See, that's all I needed. Just a little bit of context of the writer. If I don't get it from the characters, at least I get it from the writers. Is this also like the first time we've had like a flashback? Not a flashback, a recap. And I, I, I still... Obviously we're gonna get more answers, but still. Alright, well, we just skipped half a year. We just skipped half a year. Fair enough. That hits it all. <laughs> I don't know what the revenge of the, the cows. the cows. The cows are taking over. What? What? Wait, what's going on here? The cows are taking over. With their smartphones and everything. Is that how it feels like? Or is that what it really is like? That's more how it feels like. It can't be how it really is like. Yep. Yeah, nothing is going on. That's just how it feels like, my friend. Yeah, that's just what those eyes... Those eyes, those smiles. That's actually annoying me now. I think the cable is loose or something. Like, like, like. I can't. All right, I can't hear it when it's like that, but I can hear it while I've got it on. Not anymore. Maybe, maybe it just kept taking the bottle. That's what it was. Let me move. She's just still standing there. Why are you still there? You should have run away. 
with the ball too. Don't, don't, please, don't, 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 please, don't. Kill her. And all your troubles will be gone. Just, just please. Just, just, just. A quick. That's all you have to do. Just a quick. I hate manipulators. Well, I hate manipulators so much. I detest them with every fiber of my being. See, the rich always have such a bad reputation. Oh, yeah, let's, let's just steal from the rich. Well, you don't know how they got rich. Maybe they got rich by, you know, doing smart business, by, you know, working their ass off. But no, they've got money, so let's, let's punish them automatically. Please. Ah. Ah. She is the worst. Look at her. Those are dead, dead. Show them some respect, if, if not in life, in death. Of a bald monk. So now you're gonna attack the holy men too. I don't even know what to say to be totally honest. I don't even they're collecting And now you're gonna sing about it! He's just become Jack the Ripper pretty much. Slicing and dicing folks left, right and center. The thing is, you're enabling those desires, so it's all your fault at the... You're the cause. I will say this though, I like how the, like how the art style and everything is like all comedic, but like the theme of it is all super dark. Yes. No. Just stop thinking about it and act. <laughs> stop thinking about it and act. Come on. By now you should know better. Well, not anymore. <laughs> So? Oh, he is cold hearted. Oh, he is cold hearted. Ah, oh, no, here we go. Oh, uh, you're so wicked, you're so cruel. How do you become so cold hearted? He's dead. <laughs> Hop right into it. Hop right into your body. Don't, 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 oh no. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Wrapped around his finger. Wrapped around her finger. Please, just. Go. I'm coming with you? Okay. Okay. Apparently. Okay, let's see. Where are these flower petals falling from? Why the flower blossoms look as though not a single petal has fallen there above my head? I want to see her face. Yeah, I, 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 you, how did you not realize that before? <laughs> Stop. 
stop your singing. Watch this all be in his head. Watch this all be in his head. He's not wrong though, but uh, like, what, this is all in his head, I feel like. Yeah. Come on, I'll it a bit more. And there she goes, it seems. <laughs> the insanity, the, the fear of the cherry blossoms. Like once he snaps back, and he realizes what you really killed. That's gonna make it even worse, won't it? I mean, I, I'm not saying what you did was wrong. That's not necessarily right, too. But still, yeah, she done for. <laughs> I mean, hey. I mean, hey. You did absolutely nothing wrong in my mind. I know it was just a figment of your imagination. Maybe it's supposed to show like that her true face or whatnot. Himself, of course. Of course. We st we ended the f a secret lies on a chair and for even now, no one knows what it is. Loneliness. We ended the first episode with a cherry blossom. We're ending the second episode with that. Ugh. Maybe I'm just extremely stupid, alright? But I still don't see the point. Uh, that's the main thing. I, I still don't see the story here. I still don't see... Loneliness. I mean, he saw her for what she truly is, and uh, you know, he did say at the beginning, "If I kill her, I'm, it's basically like killing myself." And he wasn't wrong with that. You know, he wasn't he wasn't wrong with that. He was spot on with that. But at the end of the day, she was evil. She was, you know, she was a demon. Uh, the way he imagined her, like she wasn't human, or at least she didn't show any humanity. Um, just wanting heads, wanting heads, collecting heads, like as if they're Pokemon cards. Like, who does that? Like, oh, yeah, today I'm gonna, you know, t -t today I caught the legendary Pokemon head. Ooh, like, like, why? Like, why? I, I, I just don't understand. I just don't, I just don't get why. Life is cruel, all right? But, like, that was just, that was just more so just a question of why. I, I guess I should have figured, like, the second, you know, she saw her husband die, she was like, yeah, I'm, I'm joining you. I guess I should have figured at that point out, yeah, something was wrong with her. <sighs> Good thing is, uh, like, like, he at the end, Shigamaru at the end, uh, kind of resisted. He was like, I'm going back to the city, no matter what. I'm going back to the city. That's what's happening. I'm going back to the city. I'm uh, sorry, I'm going back to the mountains. I can't stand it in the city. I'm going back to the mountains. I can't stand I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back. So he made his mind up. And ultimately, it was a test of do those two love each other or not? I mean, he always loved her. That much was always guaranteed. But it turned out that she loved him too. Uh, was willing to sacrifice the heads. Oh, I actually put it nicely. If, I'm, if, if, if it's between you and collecting the heads, I choose you. Like, really? Really? So, that, so, so that's what you choose in between the heads and, and going back to the mountains. Yeah, the mountains aren't that bad. <laughs> the mountains aren't that bad, alright? For me, honestly, like with the last story, I, with the last thing, I got the, I got why. I, I got the story, I got the gist of the story, and I got why it was written. For this one, I got, uh, I guess I got why it was written. Because, you know, they mentioned this episode at the beginning that, you know, the, the, the author's uh, personal history with the cherry blossom. So, I got why it was written. But to me, it just felt like... 
I don't know. I don't know whether it's because like this was written in 1947 and they had all the stuff from like from like this generation, like like a mix between like old generation on a new tech and whatnot. But I, it, to me, it felt like what is going on for the most part. It felt like what is going on. Why are these people acting the way they are? I get it, he's scared of a cherry blossom tree, he's, he has had a bad history of them, so him going crazy, that, that I totally understand, alright? Like, like, that part, I understand for the most part. But, like, why was she so bloodthirsty? <laughs> like, like, straight up, what's wrong with you? Like, even in, you know, even in the 1300s or whatever, People weren't that bloodthirsty. So why are you so bloodthirsty? What's wrong with you? Get some help. That, that's basically what it sums up. I don't actually know whether it's the last part of the story or whether there's more. If there is more, I, I don't know where it could potentially go. Because it feels like this wraps it up. That's what it feels like. This wraps it up. Like that was a story. That was it. That's what it feels like. So I'm not sure whether it is actually the end or not. So I guess I'll, I'll just see that. I'll, I'll just see that for myself whenever, you know, I'll watch the next episode, which probably will be tomorrow or so. Um, maybe a few days later, I don't know. But in the grand scheme of things, I'm just like, what? <laughs> like, 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 what? I know people are cruel. I, I know people are cruel, right? But like, what? Just... What? Ah, <laughs> uh, regardless, folks. I'll see you on the next one, everyone. Maybe you, maybe you lot made more sense of the story than I did. Because to me, I, I'm still on a hinge of like, what? So that's just my thoughts, though, ladies and gentlemen. That's just my thoughts, though, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you all for the next one, everyone. Until then, have a nice day. Peace out and bye. Hey everybody, if you like this video, please be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe and if you want to see more of these kind of videos, be sure to check out Patreon to get one week early access as well as full length. But until next time everybody, peace out and have a nice day.